Oh, of course I forgot the washing machine's on. and welcome back to my channel if you are new then welcome to my channel my name is Becca and I upload vlogs lifestyle and mummy type videos onto my channel today I've decided that I wanted to film for you Joshua's what I got for Christmas video and um, this is going to be all like his Christmas presents that everyone bought him so not just from me and Sean but from like my mum and dad Sean's mum and all like family and stuff so I think this is everything that I think this is it for his presents. So let's get started. Um, I think I'll probably start with stuff that's not in the bag and then I'll do the bag last. There's quite a lot of stuff to get through so this video might be long. You might want to um, pause this and go and grab yourself a cuppa because like I said this is going to be a long video because there's quite a lot of stuff to get through. So let's start with the first thing which is this little police station. Joshua loves this. This was his favourite Christmas present, I think, because as soon as he opened this, him, he didn't want to let it go. Um, and he didn't want to open anything else. He was just obsessed with this. So what it is, it's just a little, um, I am going to insert like clips of it, um, so you kind of can see it a little bit better rather than me just holding it up. Like, yeah, this is, this is what it is. So it is just a little um, garage, not garage, it's a police station where you just pop the car on, tilt the rack, and then it goes round and, Voila, that's it. He loves this. Um, I don't, for some reason, he gets so much enjoyment watching the car go round and round and round. And it just, yeah, just, I don't know why he get, he does, but he just loves watching the car go round. And he will actually sit and play with it for ages. The only downside to this is that it's easily detachable. So it's quite easy for him to take apart. And obviously he can't put it back together once it's taken apart. So he then ends up, ends up crying because it's broken. So that's the first thing we got, and that was from Sean's brother Sam and his girlfriend Michaela. The next thing is Joshua's little baby pram. He was bought this because he absolutely loves these, so um, it's just a bog standard little pram. You know, it's quite easy for him to push. He absolutely loves it, and um, it's blue because of his boy. Not that I'm being like sexist or whatever. It is blue and it's got food on it <laughs> um, because Joshua was playing with it and I only just realised it's got food on it. I need to give it a clean and wipe a once over. Um, it's got cows and like circles on it. Um, like I said, this is for this was a present from Sean's mum and the reason why I asked her to buy him one of these is because whenever we go to toddler group or we go round to like one of our friend's house, he like he's obsessed with these. This is always one of the first toys he picks up at the toddler group. And my friend Harley, her little boy, is 10 days younger than Hud uh, Joshua. And Hudson, so Hudson has one, like Hudson got bought one. And Joshua was obsessed with it. He'd always wanted to play with it. They'd end up fighting over it. So I said, I said it'd be a good idea for him to get one. And then to go with the pram, Sean's sister bought Joshua a little doll. Now the doll, um, it does come with clothes. But the clothes are in the wash because Joshua got his dinner down. Um, his dinner down, and which must have been where he got the dinner on the pram. So yeah, we got this little doll. Um, it's been named Christmas Charlie, and I think hearing Joshua say Charlie is one of the cutest things in the world. So yeah, we, she got this little doll to go in the pram, and. And then the next thing that he got for Christmas was this. So we decided to buy him a potty for Christmas. This present is from me and Sean. Just because he is nearly two, he'll be two in March, so he is going to be potty training some, at, some time, at some point throughout this year. Um, so we decided that it'd be a good idea to buy him a potty. Um, plus I was kind of running out of ideas on what to buy Joshua for Christmas, so I was just a bit like looking at potties and then I saw this one. What I like about this one is that um, it obviously looks like an actual toilet. So I like the fact that it looked, it, just, it, was, it looked like a mini version of a toilet basically. It has a chain that flushes and, that, and it makes noise. So, and he loves he loves flushing it. Um, yeah, and he does actually see, he will actually sit on the potty. He does like sitting on it. He hasn't, he hasn't gone a wee or a poo in it yet, um, but he, I do, he is still a little bit young to be potty training. 
um, as I said, he was too much. But he does like enjoy sitting on the potty and pulling the chain and everything. So we got him that as one of his presents. And then also as well, is you can probably see to this side of me that this little tables and chair set. Now we decided to get this for Joshua because we, we decided to get this little tables and chairs set because we were sick and slightly bit high chair basically. Um, obviously him being nearly being two now, he doesn't really need to use a high chair anymore. He does quite enjoy sitting at this dish table to eat his, his breakfast, lunch and dinner. But yeah, so we decided to get rid of the um, high chair and get him a little table and chair set instead. And the last present on Earth for Life, over there, as you can see, is a little kitchen. Now, um, that's what it looks like. It's a bog standard kitchen really. Like I said, I'm gonna film some clips of the, of the stuff so you can get a better look at them. We decided, or I say we, I decided that it'd be nice to buy Joshua a little kitchen um, because he quite likes the kitchen. He likes quite likes to play with the kitchen at toddler group. We got him there. And it comes with all like the teacup and the coffee cup, but I don't know where that is. Like knife, a knife fork and spoon and pans and stuff to like cook with. Um, it doesn't come with any food, so we will have to buy him that later on down the line. So the last thing that Joshua got that's not in the um, in the bag is this. It's a little dance mat. I don't know the brand. Oh, uh, Fisher Price. I don't know what it's called, so I couldn't tell you what it's called. It's just, all I know is that it's a dance mat that makes noises and lots and flashes lights. Obviously it's got loads of different colours on it. Um, it does numbers, letters. Um, yeah, so it plays music and it lights up. And what you, I don't know if it's really showing on camera, it lighting up so much. Oh, there we go, you can see it a little bit. So yeah, it does light up. And it does letters, numbers, shapes, and there's this random thing that just lets you catch your feet. So yeah, that's everything that was bought that's not in the bag. Um, Sean's sister's fiance, Adam, bought that for Joshua. So that's everything that is out of the bag. And now I'm gonna do everything that's inside the bag. A lot of this stuff is up close, because that's what we asked for for Joshua for Christmas clothes so I'm just gonna sort of get started I'm not doing this in any particular order I'm just gonna pull stuff out and go from there so the first thing that was in this bag is this little jumper now I do really like this this is so cute um, this is from next this is from Sean's mum she bought him this and I just saw it and fell in love with it it's like a little jumper casual slash smart um, and I just liked it I like the color I think this color looks quite nice on Joshua I like the fact that it's got like the cuffed sleeves and then the cuff fit around the waist and I just thought the little pocket was cute. It has the little buttons on the side so you can button it up um, to make it easier to take on and off as some jumpers can be quite hard to like take a bit off over their heads. And I like the, like, the grey stripe patterns on the sleeves as well. I like the block colour of on the like um, chest and back part of the jumper and like I said this is from Next. I just thought it was really, really sweet. Um, it'd be nice to sort of, you could dress it down a bit. It'd also be nice to like put put on him when he went out to dinner or something like that. So that's the first thing that's in the bag. And then this is the second thing. It's another jumper. This is more like a thick, this is a slightly thicker jumper and it's like a, um, a knitted jumper. So it'd be nice and cozy for the winter weather. Again, it's a bit like block colored. So you've got like red and then it's got like red and, navy stitched in together and it's got navy at the bottom it's, again it's got like the cuffed sleeves and then the cuffed bit around the waistband um i this is from my parents but i really really like this this is really nice and it, again it's another color that kind of suits joshua really well um and i'm looking forward for him to wear that so he's not worn that yet it's still got the tag on it you then got this top now this came in a pack of three but it's just like a long sleeve top with a pocket it's like a mole gray color is that what you call it um, yeah, I just thought this was, this is really sweet. Again, this is from my parents, it's from Tesco. And yeah, I just thought it was quite a nice little top. You know, it's, it's a nice top just to wear around every day. Um, and you can never have too many like long sleeve tops, especially in the winter. The next thing from the bag is these pair of jogger bottoms. Now, the funny thing about these jogger jeans, even, are, is that Sean's 
brother Sam and my sister Charlotte both bought Joshua these jeans. Now, the thing is, Sam's jeans, the ones that Sam bought Joshua, fit him perfectly fine. Um, they're easy to get on and they're elasticated waist, so they've got enough space for him, like around his belly, which if anyone watches, has watched my videos for a little while, you know that he, Joshua, is on the chunkier side of um, things. So, they fit him fine and you're gonna get like a long, quite a long, um, long, a lot, he's gonna get long wear out of them as well. And these are the ones that my sister bought Joshua, and these do not fit him. For whatever reason, you can't get his feet in the bottom parts, and um, we're going to have to take him back and exchange him for a bigger size or whatever. So, yeah, for some reason they just don't fit him, and you can't get his feet through the, the footholds. So, but yeah. So these are the ones from my sister, but obviously these are, gonna, these are exactly the same as the ones that Sean's brother bought. Um, I really like these because they're elasticated waist, like I said, so they're, they fit, they're gonna fit him quite comfortably around the waist and you also know that they're gonna last a while. They've got four pockets, two in front and two on the bum. I like these because my sister said the reason why she bought these is because they're like joggers but they're jeans. So she decided that she thought if these were really good to get Joshua, it's just unfortunate that they don't fit and we're gonna have to take them back. Um, the next thing in this bag is this jumper and this um, oh yeah, the jeans are from Primark. Um, so this is from my sister, this is also from Primark, and it's just this grey jumper that has the black and orange writing on it that says Epic. Um, this is really, really nice. Again, jumpers are really good for the winter. Um, I tend to wear jumpers as like um, tops, or oh, Joshua, if that makes sense. So rather than have like a top and then put a jumper on the top, um, I will just wear this as a jumper. So. The next thing are these pair of joggers. These are from Tesco, so these are from my parents. Um, they're just a pair of navy joggers with like grey detailing on. Got the grey waistband, the grey cuff legs. These are really nice. Like I said, I, even though I prefer to put Joshua in like jeans and chinos, I don't mind having a couple of pair of jogger bottoms for the days that are just lazy days around the house. So there's four pockets, two on the back and two on the front. I just thought um, navy is quite a nice colour on Joshua and so is grey, so it's kind of a combination. And then the next thing in this bag is this. Now this is called a children's snuggle cushion. I've never really heard of these before. These is, this is from my grandparents, my um, nanny cab and granddad, Mick. So yeah, it's a snuggle cushion. It's really soft though, like it's a soft material. Um, it comes with this strap so you can fold it up like so, and it comes, that sort of comes like that. I suppose it, you have it like that because it makes it easy to pack. I'm not sure. But yeah, it's really sweet and it's a little lion. Yeah, it's just a nice soft little pillow. I suppose it's good to have on his bed, but he doesn't have, he doesn't use pillows. Next thing that's in here is this jumper. I do believe this is also from my sister Charlotte. This is again, from Primark. It's just a little like, is that black or navy? It's one of them colours that you can't tell if it's black or navy. I guess I'm going to say it's, um, I'm going to say navy because it looks off black, if that makes sense. So it's just a, a, like a navy jumper that says Los Angeles, California on it. It's got the LA, like LA on it, um, in white writing. And then the next thing that's in this bag are these Paw Patrol jogger jeans. So these are from my nanny and granddad Bailey. So they're just these Paw Patrol jogger jeans. It's got the Paw Patrol badge on. They're like elasticated waistband, so you know they're gonna last a while. It's got like drawstrings as well, so you can make it tight if you need be. They're the cuff leg, which again is my preferred style of trousers. So they've got four pockets, just two on the front and two on the back. And they've got like, um, chase on the front, a couple of like paw prints on the bottom, and then you've got on the back, you've got a paw print in one of the pockets, and you've got Rocky on the other. So yeah, these are, this is one of the things from my man and granddad Bailey. The next thing is some jeans. So these are from Sean's mum, and these are from Next. She likes, she loves a bit Next, but so do I, to be honest. They've come with four pockets, which two in the front, and two on the bum. And yeah, I just thought these were really sweet. They're like popper, I like these because they're popper um, buttons rather than an actual button, so they're easier to do up and undo um, than a normal, a normal button. And yeah, I just really like these. And that was something else from Teresa. The next thing in the bag is another pair of jeans from Nyx, and again, they're also from Teresa. These are just like look like um, these are just like a normal um, 
a normal denim pair of jeans when you roll at the bottom there's like a pattern on the inside material so obviously when you roll the jeans down you can see the pattern so that's what i liked about these jeans that they're a little di little bit different again they're like kind of like a slim leg jean four pockets two in the front two in the back and again they're just like a popper a popper button rather than a normal button the next thing that's in this bag are these now these are from tesco these are from my parents and they're these grey formal type trousers. So I really, I saw these and thought they were really cute. And um, they're, they're adjustable waist, so you'll see. I know they're gonna be fine on Joshua. And they come with these like little braces. Um, and anything with braces, I just think will look, look so cute on Joshua because, well, to be honest, I think anything looks cute on Joshua because he's my child. So yeah, I'm looking forward to finding an occasion for Joshua to wear these for. Yeah, they're like grey, which is a nice colour to wear. These will look nice with like a nice shirt tucked in so you can have the braces looked over. And then the next thing that's in this bag are these pyjamas. And this is from mine and Brenda Bailey. And these are from George. They're just these light blue pyjamas with trucks and diggers and all sort of like uh, construction type vehicles on them. Um, these I thought these were quite sweet. So they're long sleeves with cuff sleeves. And then this is what the trousers look like. So again, they're just light blue, the same pattern. And again, they're like cuff leg. And then the next thing that's in this bag are some socks. So my my nana kind of Bailey also bought Joshua um, a pack of five socks, which is a good thing because you can never have too many pairs of socks for children. So obviously the first pair are just like a, they're white with teddy faces on. They've got like navy detailing around the ankle, the heel, and then the toe of the foot. And then the second pair, exactly the same. They're just white with bare faces on, but rather than navy, it's like a baby blue around the ankle, the heel, and the toe. Uh, the next thing that's in the bag are, so are two tops, and these are from the three papa tops that, um, from that gray, that mild gray top I showed you earlier. These go with that. So these are, is this red, it's from Tesco, so it's from my parents. It's just like a red, uh, a red top. It's got like some flecks of grey in it. Again, it's very similar to the other one with the pocket. Um, and then this is the other one, which is then this blue. And again, it's the same pocket, long sleeve. So the next thing that comes um, that Joshua got for Christmas is from my nan and granddad Bailey. So he got a three pack of this in age two to three. So they're Paw Patrol. Um, one's just got you just. It's just Plain white with Marshall's face on the front um, and his name underneath. Second one is a plain blue vest with um, Chase's face on it and his name underneath. And then the third one is um, got a picture of different characters. You've got Marshall, Chase, and Rocky. Yeah, I was quite surprised when I pulled them out the bag because, well, actually, no, I wasn't that surprised with those. Something else I was a bit more surprised with, but I wasn't expecting my nan to buy him like vests and um, to see them type of vests makes me a bit sad because obviously it just goes to show that Josh was growing up and he's going to be too soon and obviously you're not going to be able to buy him like baby vests anymore he's going to have to wear like the big boy vests the next thing that's in this bag is this little tin so this is, little, little, this is from my, nan, my nanny cab and granddad bag, uh, Mick even it's just this little teddy bear tin and it's got like different sweets in it now these sweets Joshua's probably not going to be able to eat because he's a little bit young for them. So you've got like the, I'm um, not sure if you'd like them. You've got these like flying saucers, which from when I, from what I remember, they're quite sour tasting. And then you've also got a pack of Dolly mixtures, which again, he's not going to be able to really eat many of these, I don't think. He's not had Dolly mixtures before. The next thing you've got is this little H, uh, little shirt. I really like this, this is from H&M, but it's just this like little red check shirt. Um, I really, really, really love this. Like I love check stuff on Joshua. Yeah, it's just this little long sleeve shirt, but obviously you can roll up the sleeves, um, which is how he tends to wear it. This is what he wore. If you see, if you if you have seen our Christmas day film, you would have seen that he would have wore that on Christmas day. And yeah, I just, I think this is one of my, one of the favorite things that he has got for Christmas and that is from Sean's mum. The next thing that's in this bag are this pair of black trousers. Now this is from my sister Kelly. Unfortunately with um, these, I have, I'm gonna have to return and get the bigger size 
because they're skinny trousers. I tried putting them on Joshua and I couldn't get him up over his, past his legs, but I couldn't get him up his legs. So I'm gonna have to get like the next size up if I can in these. But they're these black skinny trousers with the adjustable waist. I really, really like these when I took them out, but as soon as I sort of opened them, they're not very stretchy, so I knew, I knew that we were gonna have an issue getting them on. Again, they've got the popper button, which I love on trousers for children, because it's just so much easier. And it's got four pockets, two in the front and two in the back. And it's just a shame that obviously, they don't fit because there's like the type of trousers I love on Joshua. And I'm gonna finish it with the um, The next thing that's in this bag is this shirt. Now this shirt does come with a jumper, it came with a two pack, but the jumper is in the wash because Joshua wore it, got it dirty. It's just this like chambray color shirt. Um, this color looks really nice on Joshua, I do really like it. It's um, long sleeve and um, the buttons on it are like a very similar colour, they're like slightly darker than the colour of the shirt but they are very very similar to the colour of the shirt and this was bought from my nephew Harry so Harry bought this for Joshua um, and the jumper yeah that's the shirt and the jumper it comes with is like a navy jumper and it's, bit, it's not knitted but it's like a smart jumper so it's a jumper that again you can wear it casual but you can also wear it smart the next thing that's in this bag is this little brown jumper this is a knitted jumper. This is probably a jumper that I would wear over the top of a, I would put on Joshua over the top of a, um, a, a long sleeve top, just because it's, I don't know, I just feel like you could wear it on its own, I guess, maybe, but it's the type of jumper that you would wear over the top of like clothes, if that makes sense. It's a nice colour, growing the inside, it's from Nutmeg, which I think is from Morrison's. This is, I do believe, it's from my nanny cab and granddad Mick. It's got cuffed sleeves and a little like cuffed bit around the waist. I like the two pockets it's got on the front there um, as well. And the little buttons is a nice little detail and the little bits on the um, hood. I like the fact that it comes with the hood as well because we don't have a lot of jumpers that come with the hood. Right, this is the thing that probably surprised me the most and it wasn't something that I was expecting my nanny and my baby to get Joshua. It is five pack of briefs. Now obviously, as we all know, Joshua will be at some stage this year potty training. And I thought it was quite sweet that my nan thought to get him a little bit like a pack of five briefs. I just can't believe like that we have some briefs now. Like it's so weird. I just feel like he shouldn't be at that stage yet where he where people buy him briefs and he's gonna be potty, potty training soon. It just it just makes me so sad that, you know, our baby's getting big and that before you know it, he's not gonna need nappies and Time for another baby, I think. But obviously, I'm getting married in a few months, so that's not going to be happening anytime soon. So, yeah, there's a pack, five pack of briefs that are Paw Patrol. Again, they're Paw Patrol. He got quite a few Paw Patrol things this year. This one, uh, these are one. This one's blue with Chase, uh, Chase's face on it. You've then got um, two pairs that are blue that have got the different characters on. You've then got one red one with Marshall on it, and then one yellow pair with Rocky on it. That's the word I was looking for. So yeah, that was a big surprise. I wasn't expecting to find a pack of briefs in there. Um, the next thing that's in this bag is from me and Sean, and it is a pair of Darth Vader pajamas. If anyone, I don't know if I actually have mentioned it on my channel, but Sean is a very big Star Wars fan. Um, that's why like a lot of Joshua sleep suits are Star Wars themed. Yeah, we just got these Darth Vader pajamas. It's got like the Darth Vader suit on the front of them, off the top. It comes with an attachable cape, but I'm not quite sure what the cape is. Um, they're long sleeve, and the leg are just like plain black. One of the legs has got a picture of Darth Vader and then his name on it. So yeah, that was a present from me and Sean. The second, uh, this next thing is also from me and Sean. It's another pair of pajamas, but they are bean pajamas. So um, I, I think I mentioned it on my vlog at one point that Joshua went through a phase where he was really into Bing. They're long sleeve, blue and white, and on the front it's got a picture of Bing and his bunny hoppity bush, I think it's called. And then the trousers are a pair of blue trousers with just Bing and Bing's bunny toy all over them and stars and stuff. So yeah, we I saw those and thought they're really cute. The only thing is that they're supposed to be two to three, but they come up quite tight on Joshua. I don't know why. All his other pajamas fit him fine, but they seem to come up quite tight on him. This next pair of pajamas are also from me and Sean, and they are woody pajamas. So Joshua again as well is really into Toy Story. He has seen the film a few times, but he um, Sean decided to give Joshua his old. Buzz Lightyear toy um, and then we bought him a new Woody toy as well and he does really like them so he really likes Buzz or Woody even but we decided to get him the Woody pajamas 
these are in age two to three and they've just got Woody's like cowboy outfit on the front, on the top and um, their long sleeves and then the bottoms are just um, plain blue and then um, on one of the legs it's got, at the bottom it's got Woody's sheriff badge on it. Right, now this is the last and final thing in this bag. This isn't everything that was bought for Joshua for Christmas. I will talk about one or two things that I know he definitely hasn't been shown. That definitely hasn't been shown in the video even because they're either in the wash or whatever. But the last things that he was bought were from his nanny, Teresa, Sean's mum. And the first thing is a little book. Now it's the Gruffalo. We already have got this in like a paperback, but this is like a hardback. Well, not paperback, it's like a typical children's book material kind of thing. And this is obviously a hardback book. Um, it's just like a min miniature version of the book that we've already got. And yeah, jo Joshua quite enjoyed these stories when he was younger. He still likes them now. Um, and also it came with a little gift set and it came with a, a, a little tiny Gruffalo teddy, which is really, really sweet. Okay, so it is a little bit later on now. Um, my camera was kind of wouldn't let me record anymore. Uh, it turns out that my memory card was full, so I deleted a few things off the memory card that I don't need anymore. So to make some space, so I can now finally finish my ending. So I just want to say thank you for watching. Please share and don't forget to subscribe. If you enjoyed this video, give it a big thumbs up for me. Leave a comment down below to tell me what your favourite part, what your favourite part of Christmas Day is. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye, guys.